y'all figured out what I'm doing yet? <laughs> I have an idea. I don't know if it'll work. But currently, I'm going to have to make a couple resin pours. I am looking at a blue hole bowl. If y'all know what the blue holes are in the ocean, where the limestone has collapsed and it's just a, and that's a dark blue. So I'm going to try to get the blue as dark as I can possibly get it, because obviously we're going to put a mortise in there. And then that should seal it down. And my next pour is going to be probably a blue green, so I can get the blue green effect around the outside edge of, say, the corals that are usually on it. And then get me a piece of waste block down in here so I'm not filling that whole thing up with resin to turn it away and i'll figure something out but that's where i'm going right now so i'm gonna get some uh, uh, uh mm, mm, total boat mixed up and probably go with the alumilite dye so i can get it as dark as possible because you know the thinner you get it the more translucent it gets it when you turn it <laughs> okay so uh that almost looks black i hope that works i hope it wasn't too much ink and that it actually sets up <laughs> so the plan is to just pour it in here for now. I know it needs to go all over the bottom of that, so. Maybe I already did enough. We'll go a little more. You know it is, I'll come back in tomorrow and there won't be any in there because it's soaked all in the wood or something. Anyways, I'm gonna get that under pressure and we'll come back when we mix the next one up and pour it. All right, so round two in here. In both of them, I have the Tim Holtz Alcohol Ink Color Stream. In the larger amount, I have the Pearl X Blue Green. And in, in this little small one right here, there's a little bit of interference blue in there from Alumilite. The object is to go with this. I'm messing myself up here. I don't know what to do with the rest of it now. Probably put too much in there. Oops, run into the camera trying to see inside. We'll just put it all in there. For now, anyways. And then, right down the center of this, where my hole's supposed to be. I wanted to do that, I suppose. <laughs> Hard to say. So, back under pressure. And then tomorrow we'll put a waste block in the center down there and somewhere up in here to take care of a lot of that wasted resin space. And then do my third pour. And hopefully it doesn't have any witness lines in it. That's why I'm hoping the way it's laid out it won't. Okay, so I am going to use a whole bunch of colors. <laughs> I'm going to use this Black Diamond Caribbean Blue, the Black Diamond Cobalt Blue, uh, the Pearl X Apple Green, the Pearl X Dual Green, the Pearl X Micro Pearl, the Lumilite Blue Dye on a bit tad lighter basis, the Stream again. Uh, I'm not quite positive on this indigo color yet or not. I might use it and maybe mix in some interference blue and in whichever one of those is the lighter color. Currently, I have a nightmare going. In here, I have filled that center with waste blocks of whatever was around. I'm gonna set this guy down in here on top and then I set the, there's a weight over. I'm gonna set this on top of that to hold it down and pour that. Everything else is kind of CA glued down in the center because we're gonna turn it away anyways. I'm not quite sure how much resin to do, so I'm gonna do probably upwards of 1500 grams between the two of these, but I'm gonna mix everything. You see these little cups over here? Everything's gonna get mixed into a little bit of each of those, so it's gonna be kind of a nightmare mixing things. This was just to keep the dust out of it for the moment. Okay, so I, I'm not quite sure how I want to do this. Huh. Maybe I'll take that out of there for now. And we'll just go right over the top of that. Go a little bit there. Oh, that one. And maybe some, uh, some of these ones. Got lots of colors to go in here. I'm hoping a green wasn't a bad idea. Okay, we got some really dark blue to go in there. I may have made a bit too much. All right, now I gotta get my waste block in there. Y'all remember how I had it? Something like that-ish. Let it go this way. 
We went that way. And we'll see you all tomorrow. Okay, so um, I have flattened this out as best I could with a belt sander. I did make another pour. You can see it doesn't really match, just like none of these really match. But uh, it, I don't. I didn't think it had a hold of this well enough. It was under one side of it because it wasn't in there straight. And every time you put it under pressure, air takes up space, so it tends to shrink when you compress that air. Plus whatever. Is removed uh, because this is pine I've stabilized this with CA glue to hold on to um, uh, my worm screw over there <laughs> uh, it, it's quite a bit more than I was wanting at the moment I, I may I may remove some of this I know it's a waste but in order to keep me from getting a big chunk of epoxy resin upside the head here I added this just to waste so we'll see how it looks and go from there. Okay, so I'm gonna go with my handy dandy homemade negative rake. I found it works better on this, uh, just till I get this leveled out some. Looks like I got some repairs to do. There's a crack here, and that is my fault because I did not dry out the wood that I put down in the center to take up space. So I'm gonna try to put some CA glue down in those and there. I kind of expected that after the fact. And then I think I'm gonna see what I can do with these. But I got a few spots that need something. 
<laughs> I'm liking that profile. Not really, but I still got to do a little bit of shaping. Let me uh, fix these boo-boos. Quite sure how to fix those boo-boos. I got some brown, some brown glue. Maybe I'll try that brown down in here. See how that works instead of black. Oh, that one says black. <laughs> Grab the wrong jug. Anyways, medium brown. Starbond. I know I forgot it was in there. I don't know where it just went. Soaked it right up. <laughs> All right, well, y'all missed that. <clears throat> That's awesome. And now what do I did? Or how close I can eyeball that. Pretty damn close with that ring in there like that. Woohoo! All right, well, let me get this on and get that off up there. And see if I can reshape this again without forcing y'all to watch it. up some five minute epoxy we're gonna add some of this cobalt blue black diamonds pigment to it and try to fill them uh, I could use CA glue but I keep getting it. It, it, it it'll harden on the outside and then I turn it and then I'm wearing it and it's just not enjoyable anymore and then I gotta clean it off the tools and all that good stuff All right, so I've sanded from like 60 grit to 320. The, the problem I'm having is this is almost too far gone, so it's really soft. So my resonant is it's higher, <laughs> higher than some of the spots in the wood because the wood's just coming off. So I'm gonna stop like right here. It's really low in the resin. We're gonna put some sand and seal around it. Do the ax abrasive paste and the polish and probably some shine juice. You know how it is, that's how I roll. I try to get pull burn in there. I've got this little, little bitty spot to put it in, so we'll see if we can do it. Yeah, let's get to that. <laughs> Where y'all going? It really messes with my cutting when you do that, you know? Oh yeah, so 
it, as you notice, you don't really need that carbide cutter. It helps. I mean, it helps a lot. But it's pretty chippy if you don't have a negative rake. I mean, look how long those are coming off there. You just got to keep them really sharp and not push on them hard. I'll let them cut. I don't have to move you guys out the way because you keep getting buried. And, and I do too, see? You see all that there? <laughs> oh, where am I going to put you guys? Up here? Does that look more better? How did that sound, huh? Try to keep it close and then it gets covered. Alright, so I got all these cracks in here, see them? This is due to me putting the <laughs> choke cherry in there and I forgot to cook it first. So it's all the moisture and hopefully I can turn through most of it. I'll, hopefully it's concentrated like right there. You can see where it's all around it. I've had to resort to a carbide cutter as I there's dirt or something in there it didn't take long to dull this up either but I've turned it and I'll just keep trying to get I think it's in here I keep trying to get it to go away this off here and see if I can do some filling. Yeehaw. Not that I wanted to, but we're gonna do that. <laughs> so anyways, and indigo. Uh, I tried to color the five minute epoxy and it, not that it didn't work, but it's a bit rubbery and it's not, not quite what I think I want in there. So, I'm gonna go with the, the thick, and y'all can see there. And, and we've got some pretty deep holes in here, that's why I'm going with the thick. The alcohol ink does tend to thin it out a little bit, but we'll, uh, we'll give a little bit of a go here. And I'm gonna go with the indigo, because this is kind of dark, and try to match that. I used the stream on a few other spots. I was hoping to get the five minute epoxy to work, but you know, it didn't. And that might not be the color I want. So the indigo turned purple. <laughs> like, I needed purple last week. So, let's uh, put a drip of the stream in there. Get more of a blue-green color, I hope. Or black. <laughs> Either way, I just gotta fill some really deep holes in here. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit it with activator just so that it doesn't it doesn't spray me with glue when I'm turning it except for I can't see any better than you can so
Anyway, you get the idea. You can color it, and it does work. It was just an experiment I did the other day. Uh, so I did it here, and then I tried the five-minute epoxy, and like I said, it's it's real. I did that like a half an hour ago, and it's it's rubbery and pliable. So I, I'm going to finish this up and get it back on the lathe. All right, so without throwing this in the fire bin, <laughs> every time I fix a hole, I'll find a new one. I'm just gonna sand it up. Right currently, my, my resin is a little denser than the wood, and I have a lip. The resin is raised from the wood. I'm just gonna try to sand and smooth this up and get rid of some of these little chatter marks because this bowl is, this bowl has moved for me awesomely and it's making it really difficult to do anything to it and yeah so i'm gonna try to get this finished up best i can not sure why it moved it was dry i cooked it and cooked it and cooked it and cooked it and i don't have the ability to stabilize it for you all tell me to stabilize it that equipment's expensive and i don't have it so i work with what i have so you hear that <laughs> So great, I'm gonna get this all sanded up. My video's a bit long, so I might skip through some of it. I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do with this video. <laughs> we'll get it finished. You know how I go, sand and sealer. After I sand through the grass, I've only done 120 right now. So I'll go down about 320, seal it, hit it with the abrasive paste, the restoring polish, and probably the shine juice like I did the backside. But, uh, some of those cracks leak through on the back side, so I now have to finish that also. We'll save you all from that. There's two coats, huh? All right, well, I'm gonna put a few more coats on and I have to do the outside edge of it because I refinished that also. So I'm gonna get that done and we'll get it off here and hopefully get a closer, better look at it. As wobbly as it is, I'm gonna go with it. Anywho, I did get it completed. So uh, there you go. Uh, it's a bit translucent. Uh, I couldn't tell on the bottom it was getting fairly deep uh, just by looking through what I can I probably could have gone a little further on the inside of it here because you can see the shadow from where this side here curves in a little better but it, it still looks pretty good got a couple a couple cracks my fault you know it happens <laughs> so uh, sorry the video is a bit long 25 minutes or so you can't get back sorry <laughs> Uh, it, it was difficult. I am the, the whole moving and wobbling and so I just pretty much uh, yeah So anyways, I'll put pictures up at the end give her a thumbs up or a thumbs down and uh, We'll see y'all next week <laughs>